Uh, thank you very much. Allow me, Chairman, to first of all recognize members of Central Committee. And as it were, you've noticed that today we have uh, seemingly taken a different way of handling press briefings uh, because of the situation I found in, we have found ourselves into. We allowed every leader here to introduce themselves and to say something as a way of symbolically demonstrating that we are united as a leadership of Patriotic Front and that uh, that criminal enterprise that was undertaken on Independence Day uh, between Mr. Mao Sampa, Mr. Aka Indeichirema, Jack Mwimbu, Siandenge, and uh, Mr. Akafumba being advised by an amateur political advisor in the name of Lenvi Ngoma, whose politics were restricted to Sinda, Mwaretama politics ya finyahu, omu atuara ku state house. Honorable MCCs and leaders of patriotic front, a lot has been said by leaders of the party in describing what happened on that day of uh, independence. But I thought that uh, mine is to speak to Misaka in uh, this afternoon. Out of decency, we have not been, we have not yet produced voice notes of correspondence or phone calls between senior leaders of UPND hoping that your conscience will speak to you. The instruction that Mr. Haka Indeichirema has been giving to his officers, starting with Jack Mwimbu, we are aware of your instructions. We are aware of how money has exchanged in having that criminal enterprise undertaken on that particular day. We are aware of what uh, was being attempted to be done yesterday in that after Mr. Mao Sampa undertake, undertook his activity, there was a meeting to which it was agreed that the registrar, the chief registrar of society, should report to the office, her office, by 7 o'clock yesterday. And by then, they were hoping that Mao Sampa would have done, put all the documentations in place, so that by 8 o'clock, they should have already effected change of office bearers. As it were, the day that the activity was being undertaken, as a party we had attempted to seek redress through the courts, the unfortunate part is that something mysterious happened in the sense that all judges in the Rusaka jurisdiction were indisposed. We also attempted, because at a high court level you can go to another jurisdiction, and that is the central province in Kabwe. Strangely, the judge also was indisposed. Of course, yesterday, being a working day, we managed to deposit our court um, processes and obtained an injunction. But I think I want to state on behalf of Patriotic Front that our position is that this case of Patriotic Front puts the judiciary in this country on trial. Yes. Because we have been saying from 2021 that Mr. Aka in the Ichirema is systematically moving to dismantle and infiltrate and paralyze the two arms of government. Of course, the one that he leads, which is the executive, through tribalism 
and nepotism he has already destroyed. Whether it is the Electoral Commission of Zambia, whether it is the police, whether it is other you know, security wings, he has already you know, polarized through nepotism and tribalism. He has moved into the judiciary, and I want to believe the Zambian people know that what Patriotic Front has been saying is becoming clearer and clearer by the day that these arms of government are being paralyzed. This case is a trial. It was cooked at community house. People sat. Phone calls have been made. Jack Mwimbu yesterday, even when there was a visiting head of state addressing parliament, he couldn't be addressed in parliament because he was monitoring what was happening at the Register of Society, hoping that uh, there could be a, a change of office bearers. The lady there that is the chief registrar, from the other day to yesterday into the night, she is under threat, threatening that she will lose her job, giving her instructions even to disobey a court order. We want just to encourage that lady. You are educated. You are qualified. Losing the job out of taking a position of integrity is not a loss at all. But it is a gain for you. Stand firm and refuse to legitimatize this criminal enterprise. We have reported to the police several times. Mr. Mao Samp and his agents came to this secretariat to commit criminal you know, offenses or criminal, to undertake criminal activities of breaking property. And the evidence is still there. The police up to today have not taken any action. They were even mocking me by calling me as Secretary General that you should be the one to come and give a statement. We can't move. But when it comes to other opposition leaders, they don't even ask who has officially you know, reported. Sean Tembo yesterday, just on the basis of a rumor, a, a, a Facebook you know, complaint by Watchdog, they didn't just go to arrest him. They went and even broke his house to access the house by force to pick him up. A person who in broad daylight commits an offense, they are not paying attention. Yesterday, two days, two days ago, we reported to the police. This morning, before coming to you know, this uh, press briefing, I've reported to the police a case of forgery. A Mr. Ngona, who's not a member of Patriotic Front, is forging headed papers of Patriotic Front from Matero. They can't even spell the word patriotic front properly. It is now patriotic font according to them in Matero. And Matero is not a Matero constituency. The Matero in a bit which undertakes criminal activities. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Those are the papers that they were taking to register of society. We expected the police to swing in action from yesterday to today. But instead what we know is that Jack has sanctioned that they are going to even provide micro, uh, Ma, Mao Sampa with security at his house. We are saying to Jack Mwimbo, stop it. This morning I went to, we went to Akafumba's office. He ran away, he couldn't even see us. These are cowards, <laughs> criminals who are cowards, who cannot even speak and justify what they are doing. Why can't you stand up to your president and tell him that what you are instructing us to do, we can't do? But you want to sacrifice an innocent lady in the, the chief registrar by instructing her to do things that are illegal. And uh, we want to advise the registrar, demand, demand from these people, written instructions. We recuperate my verbal instruction in your when they say, can you do this, and you know it's illegal, just say, put it in writing. So that it is on record that a person who has instructed you to undertake that criminal act is Jack Mwimbu or Akafumba or whoever that is instructing you. So that when the day of reckoning comes, they will be called in and they will pay for their sins.
we have a very important event that is coming the memorial service and memorial day of our founding president his excellency president michael chirufia sata our senior members of the party led by our national chair lady we're hoping that she'll be here but i think she's committed at parliament uh, also honorable godfrida sumairi professor nkandruo uh, Pro, uh, Honorable Sylvia Charikos, Honorable um, Jean Kapata, are uh, helping us to coordinate and mobilize, I mean, organize a respectful and befitting memorial serv service and celebration. I want to appeal as Secretary General on behalf of the Acting President and on behalf of President Edgar Chagwanungu that please let's not allow the madness of our brother michael i mean my mouse sampa to cause us to demean and dilute the significance of that day in our frustration or anger please let's control ourselves that day is a sacred day for patriotic front we must uh, undertake all activities on that day with great honor and respect for our founding president. We must demonstrate love, demonstrate unity, but also reverence to the work and legacy of our, of our founding president. President Michael Sata was not just president of Patriotic Front. Through the platform of Patriotic Front, he became a national asset. Through the platform of the presidents of the Republic of Zambia, he became a global asset. Let's recognize that and let's conduct ourselves honorably on that particular day. There was a pronouncement made by acting president that on that day, it is a, a, green, day. a green day where we are encouraging all of us, all members of Patriotic Front, all sympathizers, and the general public to please join us in honoring president michael sata and the legacy represents of infrastructure development the legacy represents of governing this country under the ten commandments of the legacy represents of being a democrat that even when he had won under first past the post system majority votes he still reached out to others in opposition because we believe that in developing a country, it is not the winner that eventually becomes the, you know, vanquish the, those who have lost. But even those who are weak in terms of those who have lost, he reached out to say, let's work together. This vindictiveness that we're witnessing in this country under this new regime, I think on that day we should have an opportunity to reflect that there were leaders, politicians, who understood that winning an election is not the end in itself. There are other responsibilities that are placed on you. And President Michael Sata represented that type of leadership. And we should honor him on that particular day. Today, our appeal collectively is that let's remain united. Let's allow the UPND to imbalance themselves. We met some of the officials, including Kawana, at Red Soft Society. There is nothing like the chairman has said they are preoccupied with. They are preoccupied with how they can deal with you with patriotic front. The entire UPND establishment, they are hoping that by doing this criminal act, they will be able to shut the will and wishes of the Zambian people in 2026. We know the judiciary is under trial, but we still remain hopeful that there are still judicial officers and judges, even when you may have been aligned, but at least you have a conscience, and you still can uphold the ethics expected of a lawyer to, li to, to live by the law and not by the emotions. So, Chief Justice, the judges in the Supreme Court, the judges in the Con Court, the judges in the Court of Appeal, the judges in the court of um, in the high court, we beseech you. You are the sacred institution of the Republic of Zambia, the conscience of this nation. 
Do that which is respected of the Zambian people. And this is a timely warning. If you go against the will of the Zambian people, a day is coming of reckoning for all of us. When something erupts in this country, it does not choose whether you are a judge, you are a preacher, or you are a politician. You are all swept away. The only chance we have is when the judiciary begins to do the right thing. This matter of the patriotic front is a litmus test and a trial against the judiciary. We hope you will be able to rise up. We are not seeking for favors from you, but we are seeking for the right thing to be done and justice to be done.